All right, here's my office chairs I use at Lucky Dog Studios. And I got this about just a little over a year ago. This is a nice chair. It's got a little uh, thing here that pushes out for a footstool. It'll recline back. And when I bought this, I was a little concerned about being vinyl. Not leather it's vinyl and uh, most people confuse vinyl and leather leather very few things are really leather most things you get are they call it pleather pleather is vinyl so anyways uh, it's only went for I really didn't want it to be vinyl because here's the problem vinyl is very cold in the winter it's very hot and sweaty in the summertime and it's plasticky filling it's terrible filling but what happens after a short time, it dries out. And the arms, as you can see, are now beginning to crack in just a little over a year's time. Uh, and though this is what happens with the vinyl. And uh, they've been using this so much anymore, and it's bad. In a few short years, people are going to be complaining all their leather that they call, which is pleather. And some people are talking into thinking that pleather is leather, and it's not. Uh, pleather is vinyl. Um, so I'm replacing it. Today I have a brand new chair coming, done into like a velvety fabric. Guarantee you, it's going to last three, four times as long as this did, and it'll be comfortable. No more hot, sweaty, or cold days on the chairs. So looking forward to come, waiting for FedEx to bring us a new chair. All right, guys, FedEx had just brought me this chair. I'm already, I'm excited to see it because I'm tired of my chair that I have that's out of vinyl. And this is a fabric chair. Now we've got this one in a gray. Curious to see what the uh, fabric looks like here. Start removing packing, that's what it always is about, just get the packing out. Start out with, we've got some arms, let's just lay everything over here. And I can already see uh, the, uh, the gray, kind of looks blue, which I like, you know? And it's a nice, soft velvet. This is gonna be a great chair, I, I just have a good feeling about it. So let's pull the two arms out. They pack it really nicely on it in here. This is the base. You got a slice, really neat little bubble wrap that they have used to package this all up. Now, it looks like the rest of it might be pretty close, but I'll show you a little trick I learned putting an e-bike together. Instead of picking things up and pulling it out of the box, I'll hold it in place. Now, I'll lay the box over. Get this knife out of my hand. I don't need it right yet. And slide it out. There we go. See how much easier that is to uh, take out and then trying to lift it? The uh, FedEx guy who just came, uh, carried us on his shoulder, and I told him, I said, he's a young guy. He says, take care of your back. If you get older, you'll appreciate that. So they call this the... Uh, it's a Kalina, C-L-A-T-I-N-A, Kalina. Big and tall executive chair. And it gives, it's, it weighs 60 pounds in the box, but I think this will hold a person that's above 300 pounds. So I'm not that, but if you're a bigger person, this definitely would work out. So let's move the box off to the side and start pulling this up out of the, uh, the box here. I like the way they package this. Is the uh, they've got this really neat-looking bubble wrap stuff. See how it makes the cool little bubble wrap sound. And then inside that, I 
Uh, it's coming. <laughs> they have it individually plastic wrapped. So let's lay that in there. This looks like the back. It's going to slide around on me what it's going to do here because all this nice plastic wrap. Pull the base up out of it. And then inside at the bottom here, they have some more hardware. And again, it's like, it's all wrapped in this bubble wrap, which is, that's pretty nice bubble wrap, I've got to say. You don't want to knock the light down when you're doing this. So we've got four casters. Inside this little box, it says parts inside. Let's get our knife back out here. And see what we have in here. Okay, this here, that's the shaft. Let's get this other piece out of here. We can get rid of the box. I think there's something else in there. There is. Always make sure you clean these boxes all the way out because there's parts in there and later on you'll go, where's that part at? All right, so that box is empty. So basically what this is, this is the shaft that the unit, this will move up and down. So this is the shaft that allows that operation. And then let's get on in here to, uh, there's gonna be a base. All right, there's the base. A couple other things. Now there's a wrench here. This has an Allen wrench with some screws and stuff. I think that Allen wrench will probably put the whole thing together. Let's pull the base up out. So the main thing you do here is get rid of all the package. And then it's, I gotta say, it's packaged very well. This is actually the base that it sits on on the bottom. I'm running out of places to put stuff. So there's that. Let's go ahead and inside here with the back, it comes with instructions. Now, you know what I do with instructions? I don't usually use them. Now, just to let you know though, I was an upholsterer most of my life and uh, I have worked around furniture so I'm pretty familiar with it. Now I like this fabric. That's soft and plush. I really like that a lot. You know, I'm really uh, pleased with that right away. It has a nice soft feel on the back. Let's do the, uh, that's actually the seat. That's not the back, that's the seat. See, I told you I knew what I was doing. Now here's actually the back, very nice and soft. I like that part. I think it's gonna be very comfy. And you know, I look at the, uh, the quality of the upholstery work, it looks pretty good. And the, uh, what has amazed me is this, this chair was $219 on Amazon. When I was in the industry, by the time I put labor and materials into that, I could not reupholster this chair for $219. And in the upholstery industry is the problem. Most upholsters couldn't make no money because you'd quote someone a price and they go, I can buy a new one for that. And they were totally right. And so I, I don't know, I guess it's mass produced is the, uh, the biggest thing. But I've always uh, uh, tried to figure out how they can produce this stuff and make a profit. And uh, 
and do like free shipping on top of it. So here's the arms. Again, those arms, I just, I'm happy with the fabric so far. No, uh, none of that hot vinyl or pleather. So when you guys are out looking for any type of furniture, your RVs, RVs are terrible anymore. All they want to do is put vinyl on it. They'll say it's leather or they'll say it's pleather. It's no good. So that's pretty much most of the stuff out of the box. We're going to get things together and move it over here and put it together. So uh, next step is put it together. Okay, guys, the first thing I want to do is attach this base to it. Now, it says front here. And there's actually an arrow here that <coughs> says front. And you just got to find the right screw. So these are the heavier bolts. And uh, it'll real easily screw down in place here. Now they've used a little Loctite on these bolts. This will help out later on so that as you've used the chair for a while, it doesn't work its way loose and you wonder why the chair's all loose. So that'll, that'll help that in the future there. So first thing you do is like put the, uh, I think they have included wrench here. Make sure you never cross thread it. You'll find a little resistance from the Loctite. So uh, if you think you're ever cross threading any bolt, work it back and forth until it goes on down. And so you go through in all four of them, you'll tighten it down real nice and snug for each one. You wanna get it fairly snug without stripping it out. Tighten that up and you'll be all set and your base will be in place. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you is there's three of these little plastic sleeves. And if you notice, they're tapered on it. One end's bigger than the other. And the same with the other one. So what you wanna do here is start with your big one and take the middle one, slide it up into place. And then with your smallest one, this is the wider end. And what this will do, this is actually gonna go in this direction here. And it's gonna go over this unit here. This will be the bottom, the part that goes down in here. All right, so I wanted to show you how to put these plastic sleeves in. And as I showed you, they're like a three piece sleeve. Once those are together, take this bottom end slide this all the way down until it comes out here at the bottom. And at that point, this will go into the, and see this way, this will cover this shaft up with the bottom side facing up because we have this all upside down. Put the chairs on it. And see, this will go up here and this will move up and down. This, these will just float free. They're just a cover. They're a, they're a cosmetic end of it. And then we've got our casters here. Now these you might have to, no, they slipped right on. Sometimes you have to have a little hammer and tap them, but that one slipped on. There you go. You can hear the airplane gone over. We have a World War II bomber planes over at the airport putting on a demonstration. There you go. So these casters gone on really, really nice. And there's five of them. I like that. Gives you more area to move around on it. So after you got those on there, the next step is hold on to this bottom and flip it over. <laughs> Gravity will hold that in place. That was funny. Here we go. Now we're in place, so. You could actually put that the other direction because the only thing that holds that is friction. Once you're sitting in it, this isn't gonna come apart. And then 
this will up lower and raise your chair, whatever you need it to be. So the next step is we have to put on our arms. And I like these arms are, that's metal. It's not plastic, guys, that's metal. Most of these chairs will have a, a plastic back to them, which that's not as good. Now they have a, a slotted area where these will stick out. This is where they screw into place. Make sure the fabric is lined up good on them here. And grab yourself There's a couple of these bolts here. Now you see that I have that backwards. This is the, uh, should be the front. So this is the other arm. It, uh, the reason you can tell that, is because the holes here where the back, this will bolt to the back also. So you gotta make sure you have them in the right direction. And they should just kind of fit right over top of these slotted holes. The easiest way is go ahead and get your wrench in place and get one screw started in. Line this one up here and then do the same thing. All right, the best way to put this back on is lay it on its side. And then what you gotta do is you have to get them lined up here. Now, I think what will help is if you're not getting lined up here, Loosen these up on the side, keep them in place, but get them in where they're loosened up. So you can get these started in where they'll go in nice and straight. And once they do, they'll, uh, you'll get them to thread right in. All right guys, there it is, it's all together. It takes a little wiggling in that, you wanna always make sure you get your bolts in straight, but uh, we've got it together, let's just set in at once. and. Uh, Oh my gosh, I think, I think I'll just take a nap. Wow, that fits so much nicer. It's soft on like vinyl. It's stiff and hard and cold and hot, but this is really stiff. Now I wanted to show you one little thing. Underneath here, you'll find there's a knob. If you turn that knob, that knob will tilt. If you want the chair to tilt back just a little further, just screw that knob in and that'll tilt it back. So. Hey, we're gonna put it at our office at the Lucky Dog Studios and see how it, how it looks. All right, guys, here we go. New chair at the Lucky Dog Studios. So we're gonna set in it, just see how it feels here. All right, let's just take a set here. Wow, I'm like a king now. This is soft, comfortable. Hey, if this, uh, helped you out, give us a thumbs up. I'm gonna leave a link to this. This is from Amazon. We'll link $219 what we paid for it. That includes shipping with Prime. But uh, I'll leave the link there if you're interested in one of these. It's like, we'll know here shortly how well it is, but I might already tell it just feels comfortable. Uh, so hey guys, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions, leave it below. Hit the little bell at the, uh, Top there, I'll notify you when we do our next videos. So thanks for watching and I hope it helped you out. We'll see you guys the next time. If you'd like to support our channel, if you click in the section below, we are an Amazon affiliate. If you click on that link, that'll take you right to Amazon and we'll get a small percentage of everything you order and it actually costs you nothing. It's like giving us a tip. If you'd like to order t-shirts, we have a t-shirt uh, shop in Teespring. Click on that link and you can go in and get t-shirts, coffee check mugs, and there's also stickers there. If you'd like to order one of our stickers, you can go to the PayPal link and order a sticker. Just put your name, address, and how many stickers you like. Or if you'd like to just give us a tip, you can also do that through the PayPal link. We thank you for your support.